everyone welcome back to a third episode of jira practical tutorial step by step with no other than karen for marfong your favorite agile evangelist in today's video i'm going to be showing you step by step how to conduct a sprint planning or backlog refinement session in jira most of the time as a scrum master or the product owner you will be the one to facilitate the this event using jira that is if jira is a tool you're using in your organization or any other tool which means that if you can understand how to use jira to do that you will be able to apply it on any other tool that you may find yourself using any or any of these agile project management tools that you may find yourself using so Today is going to be very interesting as I'm going to be focusing on how to um, create a sprint backlog, how to start a sprint. I'm also going to be showing you how to customize your sprint cadence or schedule your sprints. So these are the critical things that I'm going to be showing you in there. I'm also going to be showing you how to fill up your, your, your stories to ensure that they are ready enough. Okay. And then I'm going to be showing you how to edit the sprints just in case you've put something that you don't like you want to change it i'm going to be showing you how to edit the sprint last but not the least i'm also going to be showing you how to create a sprint goal in jira but before i do that i just want to say thank you so much for all of your reaction on the previous two videos i have done already on this topic i'm so glad that you're finding value in it i struggled a lot when i started you know so which is why i'm making this content so that many people will not have to struggle to go through this however if you're looking for an in-depth step-by-step um, structured training on using these tools jira azure devops whatever you're using please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help you set you up for success okay i hope you're having fun with all the learnings because i'm having the time of my life bringing all this knowledge to you now let's get started thank you so much all right, the first assumption is that you've watched the previous video that I did, and we already have our stories here in the product backlog because that's what we did the last time. So now, right now, what we are looking to accomplish is I want to show you what the Scrum Master or the PO will focus on on the day of the sprint planning or backlog refinement session from a JIRA perspective. So what we want to do is we would like to move the stories that we need to start a sprint or to achieve the sprint goal we want to plan the sprint and move those stories into the sprint backlog i think we already did that the last time so i'm just going to quickly move those stories well but i'm not going to do that right away what i want to show us is as a scrum master or a, or a product owner when you see stories in the product backlog right? Or whoever is facilitating the session. Let me put it that way. Whoever is facilitating the session, when you see user stories in the product backlog during your sprint planning events, you don't just confidently pull those stories and put them into the sprint backlog. You see, you will want to ensure that those stories are ready. And ready would mean that it meets your definition of ready. And the typical things that would be on the definition of ready in my opinion would be things like you want to ensure that the story have enough detail the story meets the invest criteria to me the invest criteria is critical and the acceptance criteria are in there as well so that's the things that i'm focusing on so how do you do you know that as the facilitator of these events even if you're not being told because sometimes team members don't know they will be saying that the story is ready. Meanwhile, it's really not. And then in the course of the sprint, they are stuck. So as a Scrum Master, it is your accountability to ensure that the stories are actually ready. So to, to know that, I will open the stories. Like starting from the first story, assuming that the story is prioritized in this product backlog and you know um, they are ranked in order. I'm assuming that the very first story, chapter nine here, chapter five here is the first story that we need to put into a sprint backlog. So I'm just going to open the story. I can easily open the story by clicking on here. You see, I just click on the story and it will, it will open on this right side for me. But I don't like this view because it doesn't give me a big picture and then I can clearly see what is going on in here. This may be a little bit confusing and you may miss some things. So I'm going to X out of this, click on this X button to close that. The way I like to open this story is I'm just going to open in another link. So I right click and then this um, 
thing will pop up for me and then I'm going to open link in the new tab. That's what I'm going to do. You see, I opened that story in a new tab. All of the story has opened. <laughs> so right now I will be able to figure out if the story has the enough information for us to get going. And now the, the, the things that I'm looking for, the description here is clearly see it's empty. So the story is not refined. So we will have to enter the description we we'll have to enter the description here and entering this description is, um, you will, this is where you, you follow the layout of writing a good user story. For example, chapter five, our chapter five is about, um, our chapter five is more about, about metrics. So I would say as, um, scrum masters students, I want to, understand the key scrum metrics so that I can better help my team track the progress of their work and identify opportunities Opportunities to improve. So you're just following out the layout of a good user story. If you don't know what a layout of a good user story is, um, you will have to find out what that is. Join our, our training program, our mentoring program or coaching program, and we can really help you in a structured way to really understand these things and set you up for success in this agile space. All right, so that is it. We enter the description. So what you're doing basically is you're filling all the, the this, this, um, this uh, dialog boxes. So on details here, we want to click down on this drop down button. We want to assign the story to someone, whoever is taking on this story, assign it to them. And then is there any label you want to enter here? Yes, um, this is... Um, I'm going to enter all the label because this story is a vertical, sl vertically sliced user story. So all of this, this one will have to go through all these phases. If you don't understand what a vertically sliced user story is, again, we cannot do all, everything on YouTube. Please join our training program, our Scrum Master training program to understand these things. All right, that's it for the label. And then the sprints, which sprints is this going into? This is supposed to go in sprints too. We have, it's going in sprints too. Well, for now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to select the sprints. I'm just going to leave it at that. And then the estimate here, well, let me put five. The story is estimated at five. All right. And then the version, it is going to our January version. That's the release version. That's what that is really is fixed version. We saw it the last time that I showed you. Yeah. So that's how you refine your user story. And once the team confirms that they are confident with this one, they are good to go. You, you're good. You're good. That's it. I'm just going to close out of, on this. And then, yeah, our story is ready. So what you do now, you pull it into the sprint. So you see, that's really how you refine a story as a scrum master. You facilitate the session of story backlog refinement sessions or as the PO. So now that you understand how to, what we are looking for during refinement, you, we will gonna, we're going to pull the remaining stories into the, the, Sprint backlog, assuming that they are also refined because we don't have the time to, to stay here and refine all these stories. All right. We're going to assume for the sake of this training that all of these stories that we need to complete the second sprints of our Scrum Master training are all refined and we're ready to go. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to put in estimates here for the sake of um, what we'll be doing in, in the future. All right, so I'm just entering the estimates to the stories. Okay, so our stories are ready. Our sprint backlog is ready. We have all of the stories ready in here. Isn't that amazing? Right now, what we want to do is I would like us to start a sprint, you see. So to start our sprint, we already have a sprint here. To start our sprints, all we have to do is click on the start button. 
this is how you create a sprint though. So you're starting a sprint. So when you click on that start button, this dialog box is going to open for you and you have to just edit it or customize it to align with whatever you're looking for. So you enter the sprint name is already there. The sprint duration is, we are following a two week sprint duration. The start date of the project is um, February 14th, you see, and then the end date of the project would be Jira has automatically selected the end date for us because we selected a two week sprint. This is the beauty of these tools. You will not have to do a lot of manual work. Once you set in the start date after selecting the sprint duration, Jira will, will track it for you and Jira has entered the, the end date. This is where you enter your sprint goal in Jira. You see, once you click on the start sprint button from your product backlog view, this right here is where you enter your sprint goal. So the sprint goal to complete all. All right. Now let's move forward. Click on your start button. Yay. We actually started our sprint. You see, did you notice that? What, when we clicked on that button, it didn't leave us in the... We, it didn't, we didn't remain in the, the product backlog view. It's brought us to the sprint backlog view. We see here, board. Jira calls it board, but this is a sprint backlog. So right now, our sprint backlog is open for us. That is it. That's how you create your sprint. You see, now let's assume that we are done with the sprint, right? We are working and we are moving our work across the board from to do to in progress and to done, right? You see, let's assume that we are moving our work across the board and then we are done with this sprint. We are done with this sprint, you see, and then this is the end of our sprint. How do you, how do you, how do you address this once you're done with the sprint? You have to come to this a complete sprint button, click on this complete sprint button and then you click on complete sprints. Pay attention on what is written here. This print contains four completed issues. That's all of them. Well done. It means that we close out all of the user stories. We met our sprint goal. I'm going to cancel this. I'm not going to close the sprint. I want to show you something else. Let's assume that we did not finish all of the sprint work. And then the sprint ended. We still have one item on the in progress column. For whatever reason, we have one item on to do column. And then we are trying to close the sprints. Let's click on complete sprints here and let's see what happens. See, now it's telling us this sprint contains two completed issues, two open issues. <laughs> Move open issues to, it's asking us, what do we want to do with this item? Because you cannot close a sprint when we still have open work items. So what do you want to do with them? You see? So if you click on this drop down here, it's going to be guiding you. Do you want to put these stories back into the product backlog? Or do you want to put it into a new sprint? A new sprint will be a future sprint, right? So what do you want to do? So whatever you want to do as a team is what you will be selecting. In this case, um, I can select, if I select back in the product backlog, these two stories, the one that are in progress and the one that is still in to do will go back in the product backlog. So let me complete the sprint and then you will see. You see, I've closed it and as you can see, those two stories have gone back into the product backlog here. That's how it works. Now, when you're starting a new sprint, you come have a conversation around here and then you will you will plan the work again and move it to the appropriate sprint. Well, I hope this was helpful. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much. So if you still haven't subscribed to this backup channel, please do well to subscribe. This is our Binajo Consulting Backup Channel. Um, this channel will be dedicated for practical, simplified, step-by-step -step guidance and tips that Agile practitioners can leverage to make their jobs better, to make their transitioning into the Agile career path better. So you will really be missing out if you are not subscribing and following along with, with what we are doing here on um, three times a week basis. And then feel free to also subscribe to our main channel, 
look it up go to the comment section you will also find a link to our main channel even on the description box being agile consulting that's it right on the screen there it has the same logo as this channel so please subscribe to that channel and subscribe to this channel so that you will be covered 100 percent and again you know that we also offer scrum master training certifications we also um, mentor and coach people that are transitioning from just having a certification and looking to land their first um, scrum master job agile practitioner job agile coaching um, release training engineer product owner whatever you're looking for we offer all the services please visit our website learn more about our programs and feel free to join our agile winning family and so that we can celebrate your success with you Thank you so much and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.